What are you hiding behind? What do you got? Now. I know what it is. It's been around for a while. What is it? This is a lossy mm -hmm. in Texel or Monster Truck. It's no Revenator, but. Absolutely not. You know. But this is uh, my. It was converted to 8S, mm -hmm. but. Really? With this is 1985 and no. Bunny McFly went back. <laughs> I did see a Coke can somewhere on there. Where did yes. it go? This one. Uh huh. So that's a lost, uh, lost Castle Creations 2028. They're like hen's teeth. Yes. Hard to find now. So we are going to put that in. Here. With the ZTW yep. on 8S. <laughs> that's right. 12S. We're running 12S with the ZTW. Now the ZTW has restrictions with weight. This guy is uh, it's under that weight limit. Yep. That yeah, guy there, not... this is why that the fit is much heavier. It's like it weighs as much as a Kraken. You can't really run the older, I think the older version 1, there was a lot of uh, magic smoke happening on that with running ZTW. So Carbat has been waiting months and months for the Fly ESC I believe. Yes. So the Fly ESC, um, just maybe to answer some questions regarding the fit, the Fly ESC have been waiting for, been speaking with the actual manufacturer to uh, work something out. But anyway. It was the battery configuration that we needed to yes. uh, confirm. To uh, confirm. All right, so you got that there, but why you got another box here? Oh, I thought this was just part of the stand <laughs> that it comes with. It's quite Don't convenient. A... It's quite convenient. do you get a, with your first one, you get an actual stand for your guess one? That would be handy. What was so, that? Before we go on, Steve, they're probably going to ask, what are those wheels? Yes. They're actually Mad Max wheels. Not as in. And you, do you need any conversion to hubs or anything? Uh, no, they just... Slip in, maybe some sort of persuasion, but the 24 mil, very tight fit though. And regarding this though, you can't just slap a 2028 oh. in. What, what, oh. What's the process? Do you yeah, want to discuss it on this one or on the other one? We'll, we'll, we'll discuss it after. Okay. But uh, we're going for these ones. Ooh. So those are the Pro Line trenches. So they actually are pretty good. Yeah, quite good size comparison, eh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because of the yeah, but we'll give them both a go. We'll give them both a go, but we're not here about that. No, so what are we here for? Well, let's have a go at this. What is it? <clears throat> it's uh, one of these, but a real, a real one. A real one, okay. So, this is a fake that, that's a prop, yeah, that's just for prop studios. Right. Ooh. Uh, one of those things that you cut yourself just in that, uh, that one brand new blade just for you. Well, I've been cu cu cutting up the uh, <coughs> the bloody uh, Raminator yeah, box. Boxes. That takes like 16 wheelbarrows full of cardboard to get Fire rid of. And so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. We don't run by, we don't have any scripts. We just play by ear, and I think no, that's. We're going to say, hey, what should we do? Should yeah. Uh, press record button. We don't do that. You press the record button. I think it's flashing red. Uh, you, oh, that's not a knife. That's a knife. So. Now, there, these have been around for a while on the market. They're uh, nothing new per se. So, what happens, Steve, is uh, apparently these have been discontinued. Right. Crazy prices. So, we've got it from our local hobby shop. Got it from our oh, hobby shop. look at that beauty. I like the colour too. So, you can't get the 29cc. Anymore, well, you the whole car. Yeah. Okay. Being discontinued. All right. Maybe that dude, the dude from, has come back. Mr. Lossy, come back. Yes. It looks this? cool though. These are great cars though. What are you going to do to it though? Nothing. So it's leaving it uh, petrol. Yeah, but I think I might uh, put a thirty-two in it. Uh huh. Very, very nice. We don't get the fancy OBRs and all that. We've got to pay a lot of money for those things. Oh, just just the shipping alone for the uh, what was the Raminator? You could have bought a X Max with that. Oh, that's the first time I've ever heard of that. Too. Yeah, yeah. What's an X Max? All right, now yeah, let's grab the handle. You grab that handle. I'll grab this one. Kick that box out of the curb. You uh, yeah, careful of my bike there, mate. 
I'll lift her up. So if you guys have this particular model, let us know. Issues, problems, mods, what have you done to it Get to, uh, to make it better or you just leave it as it is. A lot of people just <clears> like <throat> to change stuff when it breaks. Which we normally do too, if, it's a, if we know it's a good platform. You don't like normally just change out everything just for the fun of it. No. And when our shelf queens here, we use stuff. We break stuff. You know, these x Maxes. you know, got another one there, one on the over hanging up over here. We, we use them. There's another one there hanging on the uh, wall. You use everything. Ooh, look at that colour. Ah, oh, it's a different colour. <coughs> Take it back. Not good enough. Look, okay. Steve, I'll give you some more cardboard. Oh, yeah. I keep giving it to you and you keep getting rid of it. Thanks. Just what, I, just what I wanted. Oh, cable ties. Bloody cable ties. Yep, you want to grab one oh, side? Oh, there you go. Okay, big boy pants, you have wheat bigs? Did you have your wheat bigs? Go, go, go. Ah, oh, how about you just take the. Yeah, there we go. Oof. I don't want to, I don't want to scratch my uh, repressed Suzuki Swift. The side cutters. Yep. Okay. There you go. There's a lot. Wow, look at the size of those wheels, eh? They're massive. I remember we done a video with those on the X Max once. Yeah. They're not. Well, they look scale. Remember, like, a year ago, this was probably the biggest. Biggest, yeah. But, uh. Yeah. I know. I look tiny in your hands, mate, but uh, what else we got in here? Basic uh, Spectrum Radio. The X2E, yep. I reckon. Your uh, Bible of a manual. Which, <laughs> you better read that, mate. And the winner is! Yeah. Are we getting comments on that? How dare you throw that manual, what's it done to you? Look, battery's already in there. Oh, that's... She's looking at a hypo. Yeah, no, I like that, uh, that hovercraft I have. Remember that hovercraft? Had the, uh, yeah. Plugged in. Was plugged in and the lipo was gone. Gone! Here you go. When you leave uh, batteries in the remote. What happens? Yeah, and also sometimes it uh, corrodes the points yes. and all that. All right, I'll grab these bad boys out. <coughs> there you go. It does look cool. I love that colour. So yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to have one electric and one brushless. That's how, that's how we do it here. Try new things, have fun. Most importantly, we like to have fun. We don't... A, a lot of people take this hobby too seriously. Far oh, too seriously. End of the day, they're just toys, eh? Zachary. They're just toys. Oh! Yeah, they cost a bit of money. But what? That's, that's... What's happening here? That's strange. Brand new batteries, and they... Yeah, okay. Maybe they knew. Let's chuck um, some shitty ones in there, stuff their controller up, and then we'll put new ones in. We should contact Tony from CCXRC. Mm -hmm. Some sort of RC conspiracy. Yeah, it's conspira Tony, there's a conspiracy going on, mate. If you haven't, uh, check, check Tony out. Tony CCXRC is awesome. He's got a new conspiracy theory going, and uh, it's really cool. Like it's all about latest and greatest, like upcoming cars and all that kind of stuff. I really, I really enjoy it. So the boring stuff. <clears throat> boring stuff. If you need to, I don't need to open that manual. Yeah. Oh, how cool is this, Steve? Alright, so it comes with two two There's stroke. Because no two smoke, you need to. Obviously run in, and you should see the uh, Raminator now, we leaned it out a bit, video, video on that coming soon. Look at that Steve, those are always cool. Yeah, yeah. that is nice actually. Yeah. And then on a chain. You want to do this, I'm, I'm, I'm <sighs> Struggle Street, Struggle's real trying to undo it. So at least they're nicely packaged, what we might do, I'll get rid of some of this mess, stop recording and we'll uh, put the wheels on and Show the rest. Beautiful. Okay. Ta-da! Just like that. Magic of uh, YouTube. Alright, what do we got? Let's have a look. Okay. Put the tires on. Yep. This bad boy. Yeah, I really like that tool. And you were saying... 
Luke Ray, that this is a true RTA. It does yes. come with everything. Well, it comes with eight AA batteries, <coughs> two sets. Also, 4,000. Yeah, give it. No, no, put it on. Give it a minute. Put it on. Bam. Yep. It comes with a 4,000 milliamp hour, you know, 15C battery. DX3. Yep, there you go. DX3, uh, you know, glow plug wrench. Everything you need, even the uh, first initial two stroke oil to get you up and going. Or, sorry, I guess we lie. It doesn't come with petrol, but. I think common sense should prevail, but I'm as a YouTube Where here. Where is the petrol? And common and uh, common sense isn't really common. Awesome. They got the stickers. They always come loose. It's yeah, probably been in the box and and it's been heated up yeah. and you know because of the temperatures. It just that normally goes on the side here. But look at that bad boy. <clears throat> to all the guys that they know this. Yeah. So, but people that don't, what do we got? We got. So we got dual steering. Yep. Nice aluminium. Uh, Horns. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. And Actually, the, a lot of people upgrade their DBXLs and their lossies to, to these horns. Yeah. So they're S900S and there's also one for the steering and throttle, uh, sorry, the brake and throttle as well. Nice setup. Dual disc brakes. Yes. Front and rear and not like the Raminator or the, um, the one down here we have which I'm converting to brushes, they have no brake pads, it's just... You're not metal. mucking around when you said brushless conversion, no, are you, met, Nope, metal on metal, it's all out, that motor's all out. Obviously, very simple design, but it's easy to work on. If you know more about these than I do, what's it based on? Well, it's no monster truck, unless it's a Raminator, it's based on, uh, on the a true scale. The chassis. Chassis is based on the DBXL That's right. chassis. So they've just got the wider, or oh, sorry, longer arms. Yep, and obviously uh, the towers. Massive. That's basically really it. And the Maybe the bumpers wheels, wheels and, and the tires. That's it. There. I believe on these ones they've got the alloy carriers. Hub carriers. Yep. That's plastic. And the front, you mean? Uh, the front. Yeah, sorry. the front. Yeah, yeah, front is metal hub. Uh, Hub carriers, or yeah. well, it keeps changing between which car. Where's you get them confused? Like whether they're hubs, carriers, yeah, whatever. Nice boots to keep. Thanks, through. Phil, for letting me know what it's gonna be. <laughs> Mitigating any dirt and mud ingress into those joints. The tyres are only on for uh, demonstration purposes. Yes. Or else. Uh, I know to see. That's like a channel for the wires. Yep. That's so, nice. So your battery. A lot of probably guys haven't seen for scales before. Yeah. Battery goes in there, obviously. <clears throat> So it's an EC3. Yep. Which we never use. No. But I, I do like this. Yeah, it's got this nice little yep. hallway or passage for the wires that go into your ES, um, to your receiver, which is the basic SRS201 yes. Spectrum. We'll change it to a few tabber. Why? Is there any advantage? No, because that's what I run. That's what Luke Ray wants. Oh, well, there's a discussion you could have. Yeah, the, there's the response, 101 the, discussions about No, but at the end of the day, they are great, and yeah. you're paying for the response time and all that kind of stuff. Reliability, I'm not too sure as well, but... Hey, whose money is it? It's your money. You can spend whatever you want. Oh, I'll get that later. Well, Stevens. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's this is just a basic 29cc... Um, Dynamite uh, motor. They're good just for putting mm. around. I wish they'd done this to the 5T. Yeah, you just push it in. Kind, it kind of like a, uh, the MCD, MCD slash Roven has the exact same thing that you were just saying. Those little three tabs. Is that another RC conspiracy, Steve? I'm not too sure. I have to ask Tony. Hmm, <laughs> Tony, is it? <laughs> we're giving them all this content. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, you got to put one in there. but um, mm, Just like how the... TLR 5B, the MTXL, and yep. I heard recently mm -hmm. the DBXLE has been discontinued. Oh wow! So whenever that happens, Luke Ray will try to snap them up. Yeah, that. Because you got the camera on me. Yeah, but what else? So we got three differentials, obviously. Yep. So we got the um, center because it's in the center. Yep. Got the rear. Is that because it's in the rear? Awesome. And the front because it's down in the front. Here we go. Awesome. So I think stock, I think the stock coils are, I think it's 15. Someone's, someone's on the hands or on the keyboard already waiting for you to smash that comment in. I think it's 15, 10 and 5. Sounds good. Yeah. But, uh, ah, not going to do that. No, no, that's fine. So this is actually... 
A 29cc CY. What's that mean? Chung Yang. Uh -huh. So it's not a Zanoa? No, it's not made in Japan. No. Does this look, this looks like some of that, that, something that people would upgrade, this plastic brace. Yes, there is actually a uh, bar alone and yeah. uh, all that other crazy stuff. And uh, what's the carb? The carb is a, looks mm. like a, maybe an 1107 because yep. it is a... And it has a carburetor. And it has a, no, no shit carburetor. It has a, a choke. choke. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. You need that to start it. Pretty <laughs> large, um, <coughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fairly large fuel tank as well. That'll give you what? Twenty minutes runtime? More? Actually, you know what, Steve? Hmm? I've never ran one before. We'll run this one. I converted that straight away. So we're leaving. What are we doing to it? No. Nothing. Stock is a uh, rock. Rock. Just apart from the tyres. Yeah, probably get some outer wheels. Yeah. Uh, probably change that. Yep. Uh, oh, we're using my old lossy five that um, gave up the church. Right. On Saturday. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be get redone, put a 32's in this. In here. Yeah. So you're completely changing it. Yeah. You're not leaving it stock. <laughs> That's how we roll. Not but, for um, no. But, uh, what know how good we are at breaking things in. Oh, apparently. Nice heavy duty hinge. Well, what are they? Suspension pins holders? Or are they retainers? Yeah. yeah. Front and back. Yep. That's what. That's what. Five mil. Really nice shocks. Hey, all these shocks. Yeah, they are. And I do like the uh, the boots as well too, yeah, protected as well. Are, but uh, the uh, tour racing version of it. What else? What else is there to say? No, that's Nothing much. No, it's been around for a while. It has. Look, we we had it here. Just wanted to get rid of it and show yeah, you. Yeah, we want to get rid of it because we're kind of we're, uh, we're planning something really big for the Raminator. Mhm. Mm Damn straight we have. So. Look forward on the channel. We're going to be doing the twenty twenty eight Castle Creations motor in. That one down there. We're going to leave this one pretty much nothing too crazy, well, and then an off and uh, we'll do a we'll do some more vids later on. We'll get this uh, all sorted and we'll put them together. Okay, we quickly got both out just to show you roughly what Luke Craze did already. So what do you have to do to get to this stage? These... <clears throat> so obviously I took out the gas. Mm. So we took this out. Yep. We actually going to we're going to we should run that in there. We should. Yeah, it'll, it'll have an ample amount of 0.5 horsepower. I think it'd be, yeah. I think that would be a bit. I'll leave, <laughs> I'll leave the link in the description when I go check this out, guys. This is a Toyan four stroke overhead cam actual motor. It's bloody awesome. I got two of them. I got one over there on a little test stand you would have seen in the video. And um, yeah, and just to get it running. And um, I want to put it in a crawler or, yeah, or a car, yeah. Something like that. So it's going to take some time. But that video will be coming. But anyway, okay, here we go. Okay, so pulled out the gas. Yep. Now these are the lossy DBX LE battery trays. Battery trays, yep. So they fit nicely. So I had a Max 5 here, had it on a stand, had a mount for it, and it went really well. Problem is, it was just a little bit too gutless yeah. to move something like this. So this is... So that's the ZTW. I'll, if I remember, I'll link that video I did where I, I unboxed it and I showed you the Max yep. 5 and stuff. So that's a ZTW Beast Pro 300 amp. We're kind of looking for something to put it in. Does does a uh, 12S and it's also um, good for, I think, well, I can't remember the kilo of the car weight, of the what, what they recommend. But they didn't recommend it for the Kraken or the Fit. Yeah, I think that's it was 25 why, kilos plus. Yeah, that's why we didn't use yeah. it. We had it already. We didn't use it for the Fit. But yeah. And, um, well, that's what Carver used in his uh, X Max. X Max. But so that's going to be in here. Yep. Twenty twenty eight. So Steve's got a printer, three D. Yep. PC mount for it. Just like that. Just and like that. Our friend Johnny is making the mount for that. Yes, he is. Yep. And then. So um, the motor mount. Sorry, not the yes. And that's kind of basically it. That's it. Being a brushless. Yep. And we've got our six S batteries that fit nicely. Yeah. Sweet. Into here. Ready to rock and roll. Actually, ones we're using for the Kraken, which we're working on. Don't. We're getting a jinx ourselves again. All right. So that's, uh, yeah. That's about it. Why, uh, why have either either when you can have both? That's right. All right. Well, anything else? No. No. Go to bed. Yeah, I, I think so. Work. Well, I hope you liked the video, guys. 
If you have either, either, you've done anything to this, or you left a stock, you've actually converted it, what ESC did you use, what batteries did you use, did you use anything else, what motor, what mounts, all that kind of stuff, let us know. Has anyone done the RC Max chassis and rears? Mm. Have they done that to their MTXO? Yeah, that'd be interesting to know. Alright, let us know guys, if you liked the video, give it a good old thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe, hit that little notification, what is that called, the bell and uh, you get notified of all the videos. And all, yeah, the likes help these videos get traction. I, I keep saying it every now and then because it just helps with um, getting traction and just more support for the channel. Appreciate everything uh, so far and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.